Hey, what's up all, it's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. So, last time we ventured through uh, Paddleberg Woods, although we will need to come back there again at some point, seeing as there's a small little area that we can get to by using Cut. So, I figures, well, there's nothing much else to do apart from carry on going along this route and seeing what's what. Oh, speaking of trees to cut down, we've got something else here. Anyway, did I battle you last time? I think I did. That's absolutely fine. Right, so, ooh, oh, here we go. This looks like our first uh, double battle. Uh, let's see, who do I want to train up? I kind of want to train up Shroomish, thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe bring out Shroomish for a short spell, and then uh, switch to Lotad, or even Taylor, thinking about it. We'll see. Yeah, double battle. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Alright then, let's see what kind of Pokemon you have, although considering how early in the game it is, I'm going to assume it's going to be not too specific Pokemon. Yeah, just C Dot and Lotad. No plus all or mining yet, although I'm pretty sure we're going to see uh, one of those Pokemon eventually. Anyway, uh, not ideal for Mudkip thinking about it, so let's just go with Tackle for now. Uh, do I take a chair? Oh, they're only, I've just noticed they're only level 6. Oh, let's go for it. Oh, uh, oh, nice. Critical hit. And thankfully, uh, Shroomish defaults to uh, C Dot. Interesting you're using Bide. Hmm. Let's try and take you out before you can a before you're able to use uh, bide yep you're storing energy but I believe it's on the next turn yeah that should be enough good stuff good stuff mudkip Ooh, wonderful that was six good stuff we battled together but we both lost you know what? That still resulted in a level up for Shroomish. So that's absolutely fine. And actually thinking about it, um, you probably noticed the first couple of episodes uh, were pretty much, you know, had like its own introduction and outro. Uh, because I was trying out just seeing if I can record more episodes like that. And while it obviously works, at the same time in games like this, and especially if I ever do more Let's Plays of games where it's going to be like my first time playing through them, I think I'd rather just do what I've always have done on this channel over the years and just record for as long as I feel like and then worry about splitting it into multiple episodes at a later time. So, yeah, so I think going forward I'm going to start doing that again. So not all future episodes will have like an intro and or outro. Uh... But, uh, you know, it's just the way I prefer to do things, record more in advance, enjoy the game without having to worry about how long I've been recording, and I worry about doing all the boring, tedious editing, uh, well, after I finish recording, so. So yeah, going forward, I just figured I'd mention that. Anyway, ooh, you're a fisherman, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, this is ideal for Shroomish. Alright, Shroomish. Let's train you up a little bit more. Nice. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. You don't know me. Are you really an expert? Well, depending on what kind of Pokemon you have. I'll be the judge of that. Free Pokemon. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You're just gonna have a whole bunch of magic up, aren't you? Oh no. The quote unquote expert just uses Magikarp. Let me guess, is your next Pokemon going to be a Magikarp? These aren't even going to be worth that many experience points. 21. I mean, that was enough to level up Shroomish. Ooh, he learned Stun Sport. Nice. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, you are literally. Once again, another person who's going to use a whole bunch of magic crap. <laughs> Level 6 this one at least, so it's a little bit stronger, but that's not really saying much, considering all you can do is splash. 
Well, I mean, this is, I suppose you could say, good training for Shroomish, but honestly, it's not really. I should just, I just, just, I should just get this battle over and done with because this is going to be right, right, fully painful just to bear through this. I'm sorry I had to deal with this nonsense, Shroomish. Yeah, as I thought, another magic card. At least it's only three. Didn't we battle someone just before the but Pedalberg Woods that had like more like more than just three magic off. I can't remember. <laughs> How can I not remember? It wasn't that long ago that I recorded it. And yeah, that's another thing, like, even though like even though all like I've already done like the first four episodes, like, you know already. Like the first three episodes I've pretty much recorded on the same day. <laughs> I just recorded all those same episodes, all, all those, like the first three episodes on the same day, so that's another reason why I've decided that if I have time to record like an hour or two at a time, then I'm just going to go back to doing that and go back to the way of just splitting a long recording into smaller episodes suitable for YouTube. Anyway, I'm going to pick the berries. Also, person right down here, are you a Pokemon trainer? You're not. If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them, but make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Ooh, but you're going to give me some berries? Ooh, a Chesto berry. Is that the first one I've had? Uh, trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow berries or use them. I would like to consider using them. But you know what? Let's plant a few anyway. Yeah, that's the only Chesto berry I have. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to grow them. The only problem is, as I'm pretty sure I've mentioned previously, I'm going to completely forget about uh, these planted berries in the in the future, aren't I? So we'll leave the one chestnut berry there, and you know what? I'll plant a cherry berry here. Why not? So give him a nice watering. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so I think. Oh. No more trainers? Have we made it? Oh, we've made it to Rustbora. Nice. Rustbora City. The city probing the integration of nature and science. Ah, awesome stuff. Uh, hello. Wow, you have Pokemon with you too. When I get bigger, I'm going to go places with Pokemon too. Good for you. What about you too? Hello. If a Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change in the way it looks. A Pokemon changes shape? If one did that, I would be shocked. Well, I mean, for me, it's already happened once with uh, Silcoon. Indeed, Silcoon was previously a Wurmple, so I've already seen that happen. Although, I wonder if any of my po other Pokemon are potentially close to evolving. Maybe Mudkip if I trained you up a little bit more? Not sure about Shroomish, and yes, as mentioned in the comments in an earlier episode, Shroomish does indeed have legs. <laughs> You can't see them that well, but Shroomish does indeed have legs. Good stuff. Also, ah, I thought there was an item there. I did notice a suspicious gap in the fence. I thought there was something suspicious about that. X the fence, probably not going to use that like ever, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, actually, first of all, let's actually go to the Pokemon Center and actually heal our Pokemon. As well as talk to everyone. The man next door gave me an HM. I used it to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. Ah, well, that explains where we get that HM then. Awesome. Uh, yep, yeah, it's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. I mean, it makes, it makes each Pokemon more unique. Anyway, let's heal our Pokemon. And explore a bit more of Rustboro City. Question is, do I want to take on the gym leader now, or like in, in like in today's session, or do I want to do a little bit more exploring? Because I know there's a few routes uh, out of town to the north, and I think to the east. So it might not be a bad idea just to. Uh... be a bad idea just to maybe just do a little bit more training before we take on the gym leader even though I've technically got like three Pokemon uh, that could that should be able to take care of Roxanne's Pokemon no problem 
I should buy super potions. Yeah, I mean, super potions could be good, but right now, I don't think they're necessary. How many purples do I have? Oh, I've still got eight. Plus the premier ball that I got. Seven potions, not in a hurry to grab any of those. Three antidotes. Don't think I need uh, paraly like, paralysis heals and all that. Is it worth getting an escape rope? Am I likely to go to a cave anytime soon? Not really, but you know what? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to grab one. Not gonna bother. No, I'm not gonna bother with the repel for now. I buying some stuff, okay? Just in case you run into a shroomish in Pedalberg Woods. Ah, yes. Although the shroomish that I caught, um. Only just learned to stun spore, so I think the wild shroomish around here should be alright. Uh, anyway, is this a building I'm going to? It is. Alright. Well, as a Pokemon trainer, I am totally allowed to wander into everyone's houses. <laughs> Devon Corporation's workers live in this building. Okay. Hey! It's a cute little skiddy! Here, skiddy, 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 skiddy! <laughs> Anyway, anyone got any useful information here, or is it just random stuff? My daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. Oh well, nice. All right, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely accept that. So you want to work for Devon as well? Okay, fair enough. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company, and let me guess, it's some kind of big mega corporation now. <laughs> Although that reminds me. Didn't uh, that team Aqua Grunt in the forest uh, mention something about Devon Corp? Who knows? Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. Hmm, what kind of rare stones? Presumably evolution stones? I think the president's son also collects rare stones. Well, fair enough. I don't know if they have any use for them, but, uh, you know, good for them. Anyway, let's get out of here. Nothing of of interest really, apart from that Premier Ball. Uh, another building to go in here, not in that one, but we can go in this one. What's in this? For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of... Uh, originality. Yes, that's it. Alright then, let's see for myself. Oh. Peck-a-chew. Man. Well... Remember how I said earlier in this last play that I said that I don't typically nickname Pokemon because I can't think of any original names? Well, if, if I did decide to nickname Pokemon, they wouldn't be that original, but they sure would be better than Pikachu. I can guarantee that. <laughs> but giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu, it seems pointless. I suppose it is good to use a name that's easy to understand, but... Yeah, I mean, it kind of makes it unique, but at the same time... Why not call it, I don't know, Sparky or, I don't know, Bolt, Thunder, Zap, who knows. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Trainers School will teach you anything about Pokemon. Okay, if I go to a school, will I be able to catch rare Pokemon easily? Um, it's all well and good at learning, you know, the theory of, you know, studying Pokemon, but in terms of practical stuff, yeah, it, it'll, it'll be, it's like doing things practically is certainly going to be a lot more different than just learning about it in a classroom. You can have a two-on-two -two battle even if you're not with another trainer, if you catch your eyes at two trainers, when you have two more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Well, I mean, I've already had a double battle before, and of course, uh, let's not forget that one of the gym battles will actually involve uh, a double battle, which is pretty cool, and... Actually, I'm trying to think. That that particular gym battle is not until much later on in the game, but... I'm trying to think, is there any other Pokemon gym, like, after this game, that has, like, double battles? I'm trying to remember. There probably is, but I'm just drawing a blank right now. I'm just drawing a blank. Oh, um, okay. I just tried to talk to you and you just walked away from me. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you're a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Okay. 
and how exactly are you going to use? Were you actually going to use that quick claw on your students? Because yeah, uh, I'm not entirely sure if I approve of your uh, teaching methods there. And uh, oh yeah, the usual sort of stuff: learning about Pokemon's status and all that. Uh, you're trading Pokemon with your friends. All right. I always wanted this C dot, and I'm finally getting one. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon, a confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to, but once it leaves battle, it will return to normal. And yeah, you were talking about like how Pokemon didn't know uh, how to use like man-made stuff. Oh, well here's a familiar face. Hello. Didn't we meet before? I think back in Petalburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been travelling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So what brings you to this school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is to have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has Cut. Indeed they do. I don't have the gym badge for it yet, but I can teach a Pokemon Cut very soon. I just need to go into that house, but first let's talk to everyone else. Roxanne! The gym leader really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong too. The trainer school is excellent. If you study there, you can even become a gym leader. Um, okay, there must be some specific, like, course or something. I challenged a gym leader, but it's not going to be easy winning with my Fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against Rock-type Pokemon. Yeah, that is true. You know what, I'm wondering whether I should just take a chance with this gym. Although, I kind of like the idea of maybe just doing a little bit more exploring before we take on the gym. And just train up my Pokemon just a little bit more. That determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. Well, that's a nice easy way of getting our first HM, which is always nice. Uh, HM is one that can be used for Pokemon outside of battles. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but of course I need to get the first badge, in this case, the Stone Badge. And a HM can be used more than once, unlike a TM. Ah, oh, gotta love these old games, so... Back in the day... That TMs can only be used once. Really? None of my Pokémon can learn Cut? Really? Okay, that's... Kinda surprising. I guess I need to. Uh... I'm trying to think what other Pokemon I've got in my in uh, my in uh, in storage. When they were expanding the city of Rustboro, my dad helped out. He made his Pokemon use cuts to clear the land of trees. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, um, that's kind of surprising. I mean, not that it matters because I don't have the badge yet. Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into the Pokemon Trainer School? Uh, nope. I'm just travelling the region. Despite the fact that I literally just moved to the Hoenn region. Well, when you think about it, even though it's been multiple episodes now, I've technically only moved to the Hoenn region about a few hours ago. <laughs> Pokemon are such strange creatures. They're strange creatures, but they're absolutely awesome creatures as well. Part of me wishes that Pokemon were real. Whoa! Hello! Wow! Okay. Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard? You need to ask? It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. It really isn't easy coming up with meals every day. What's going on here? Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me. I never have a problem. My daughter, Walder, doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh at me if I told her something funny. Do you know a funny word or phrase? Oh, God. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Um. Um. Tell them the words. Um. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not really that much space to, uh. To put in anything. Um. I don't know, I'm gonna be a bit. Oh, actually. Uh... Oh. Okay, yeah, we can have, like, punctuation, but then again, does it even matter? Um. 
Oh god, what am I gonna think? I think I just need to think of something really random. What's been uh What's been making the news lately that could potentially be funny? <laughs> um Actually think about it, it's not really there's been that much good news lately. Um Hmm. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to say... Can I... Sp uh, I don't know. Because I can't think of anything... Original, I'm just going to say I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> ah, she's not smiling at all. Maybe well, there's one serious child. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's... I wonder if I will give a response regardless, because thinking about it, you could type in anything. In fact, I probably could have tried typing in like a, like a swear word or something in there. <laughs> uh, we don't have a certain gym badge. Yep, it will obey you. That's the usual sort of stuff. So we've got the gym there, as well as Devon Corporation. Now, there was something about um, Team Aqua potentially checking this place out, but I believe it happens after the gym. We're proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. Wow, okay. Hey, those running, running shoes, they're one of our products. It makes me happy when I see someone using something we made. Wait, so the running shoes were made by Devon Corp? I mean, what do you make? Because honestly, I didn't see you like... I didn't, I didn't think Devon Corp was something like a fashion, like... Like a, like a, you know, fashion designer kind of company or something. I thought they were more like serious stuff like, you know, maybe unique Pokeballs or, as he said, medicine and that. So yeah, Rosborough City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Roxanne, the rock-loving honor student. I'm going to do that all the time, aren't I? <laughs> Every time I say Roxanne, I'm always going to have to say Roxanne in the way of that uh, that old police song. Actually, when, how old is that song? Was it 1978, 79? I think it one of those two years. I know it's like the very end of the 70s, that song. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm I think I'm think more interested in maybe just doing a bit more training first. But, uh, but should I just take a chance? Ooh, trade you C dot for routes. Um, no, I'm not going to do that partly because I don't have um, a routes. I suppose I could have tried to catch one earlier on, but honestly, I wasn't too fussed. You know what? Maybe I will check out the gym after all. But, actually, no, 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 no. Before we do, I'm going to very quickly... Let me just shorten it to Devon. That company makes all sorts of convenient products, because I think there's a few trees that we need to cut, if I remember rightly. So I'll tell you what, let's head north instead. Because I think... I think we might be able to battle a few Pokemon trainers. Uh, you're definitely not a Pokemon trainer, because you're moving around. Uh, looks like, uh, oh, unless there's one on the beach. No, okay, so there's no Pokemon trainers on the beach, but there is an item. Huh, a Super Potion. I won't be using that anytime soon, but I'll gladly take that. Uh, but yeah, we definitely can't go up north right now. I believe it's only one way. So I guess there aren't any trainers there then. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's quickly go out this way and see what we've got. But considering I don't have, apparently don't have a Pokemon that can learn cut, might as well just have a little wander around this grassy area here. Partly to uh, just level up a little bit and partly to see whether I can get some uh, new Pokemon. Also, Youngster Joey. Alright, um... Stun Spore. Yeah. Slow you down, Machop. And if you don't mind, I'm going to suck the health out of you and give it back to me. Yeah. Actually, thinking about it, Machop should be able to learn. Uh... Cut. Okay. Yeah, absorbs not doing much. What about tackle? 
Oh, wow, that's hardly doing anything either. Okay, uh, this is gonna be... Yeah, I have a feeling that this won't go well, so I'll tell you what, let's just... Let's just uh, save a bit of time and just bring out Halo. Uh, just finish off, Taylor. Because this could be a very long way to... Oh, wow, he actually survived. Okay. Ooh, critical hits. That's because you used f um, focus energy, didn't you? But still no problem for Taylor. Is that going to be enough to level up Shroomish? I think it is. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to level up Shroomish. Oh, nice. Ouch, a scrape. I have to put on the bandage. Bandages are a sign of toughness. I've got another one. Ah, oh, well, good for you, kid. Sign. Genotips. If you want to stop a Pokemon from evolving, press the B button while it is trying to evolve. The start of Pokemon will stop. This is called an evolution cancel. Yeah, so I've got a whole bunch of trees to cut down, so I can't explore all up there. But I can at least explore this little bit and just do a little bit more training. Also, you're a bug catcher, aren't you? So not ideal for shroomish. Could train up Taylor, but honestly, I think I'm more interested in just training up maybe Mudkip a little bit. Let's just make Mudkip a little stronger. But first, let's see what kind of Pokemon live around here. No, that's just a Poochiena. No, just a Poochiena. Don't need to worry about you. Goodbye, Poochiena. I want to I wanna find someone new. I want to find a new Pokemon. Okay, let's see how tough they are. We're probably still going to use the likes of Wormpool and maybe um, Cascoon or Silcoon if we're lucky. Let's see. Yep. Wormpool, who you decided not to evolve. Okay, interesting uh, decision there. But yeah, not doing much damage at all, so it should be pretty easy. I could have done with you have doing the critical hits on the first turn, Mudkip, but you know, never mind. Oh, I forgot about uh, Ninkada. Involves into Ninjaska, if I remember rightly, and, and potentially also, where was it? Shedinja, that really odd Pokemon. Okay, that was enough to level up Mudkip. I lost, I thought I had you. Hmm, afraid not, kid. But Pokemon evolve quickly, so, they're, so they get strong quickly too. Interesting you said that, despite the fact you did use a Wurmple, which was level 8, and definitely had a chance to evolve. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's show Shroomish just that little bit. If I can get you to level 10 before we take on the gym leader, then at least I'll have, like, two or even three good options against uh, the gym. Oh! It's Shroomish versus Shroomish! Um, this is not going to go well, so you know what, let's just... <laughs> let's just... Actually, you know what, let's bring out Silcoon. I was going to bring out Taylor, but you know what, let's bring out Silcoon. Why not? He's absorbed, but that's not going to do much damage. He had two hit points, I'm not too worried about that. And if we play our cards right with Poison Stink, we can uh, poison you. Ooh, I did three hit points of damage this time. It's kind of rude. Come on, poison! Oh, stun spore. Well, I was slower than you anyway, so it's not going to make a huge amount of difference unless I end up not hit making my move because of the fact I am paralyzed. Come on, Poison Sting, why aren't you working? Also, how did you miss a paralyzed target? Yep, you see, just that's why I hate tackle attack in these old games. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shroomish is having a horrid time trying to hit me with... Uh... Oh, you got shed skin. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> hey, you finally managed to succeed with the tackle. Yeah, go figure. You managed to get me after... After I uh, got cured of being paralyzed, also that brought me down quite a few hit points, but that's enough for Silku. Nice. Alright, good stuff. I'm in shock. I lost. You certainly did, Karen. 
Oh, I'll never become an elegant trainer like Roxanne this way. I just gotta train a little more, that's all.